welcome to IEEE expert so today we are going to see project about very innovative concept okay so in recent times google published some ai blog they have published some concept on their google research website okay they are conducting some ai blogs google.ai blog they have mentioned some topics over there what is the topic means they have put topic together as a detecting sign of disease from eye images so they have taken eye images from the eye images they are going to predict various disease okay this is the blog they developed okay this is the concept they have put on the research and recently they have published some video using google ceo sundar pichai just see the video last year at google io we announced google ai it's a collection of our teams and efforts to bring the benefits of ai to everyone fields and I'm going to help doctors diagnose it india and the field using the same retinal scans there were things which humans quite didn't know to look for but our ai systems offered more so see that using the retinal images they are going to predict the cardiovascular risk that means heart attack risk probability they are going to predict the heart attack risk probability using your eye images they have come to know the recent innovation they have published a recent innovation they mentioned that in future you can predict your heart attack risk using your eye images itself that's what they mentioned more insights your same eye scan turns out holds information with which we can predict the five year risk of you having an adverse cardiovascular event heart attack or strokes so to me they so this what they mentioned using your retinal scan images you can able to predict your age your male or female you are doing smoking or not then your bmi ratio then your hemoglobin ratio then they are doing blood pressure prediction all together from your eye images using that they are going to the interesting thing is that predict whether you are having what doctors could find in these eye scans the basis for they are not only stopping from there they have published some papers also this is the paper published by the google research scholars okay prediction of cardiovascular risk factors from the retinal fundus images via deep learning this is the project we are going to develop today okay this is the project you can see they have taken some original images from that they calculated age gender smoking habit hemoglobin ratio bmi then uh, blood pressure systolic blood pressure diastolic blood pressure those are the things they have examined by the fundus images from that they come to know the heart attack risk probability this is the project we are going to develop today completely this is the recent base paper we have developed the ppt for that also so this is the project ppt so you can see heart attack risk prediction using retinal images this is the abstract we have mentioned that cardiovascular disease was one of the most fatal disorder uh, disease in the world okay so we have to predict as earliest as possible to avoid the death so for that only we are going to use person eye images by analyzing the eye images we have to come to know the blood vessel strength from that we have to calculate various features such as age uh, male or female ratio or else uh, systolic diastolic blood pressure hemoglobin ratio diabetic retinopathy ratio from that we are come to know the heart attack risk probability so this is the abstract we have mentioned that the uh, clear abstract also given in the next step then introduction tab we have given introduction introduction also we have mentioned some uh, heart attack uh, risk factors literature survey we have taken various sources from uh, for this research we have come to know the accuracy of those researchers no one achieved more than 90 percentage of accuracy using various algorithms so we have taken various literature in existing system everyone using uh, blood pressure ratio your lab report blood report only okay the existing system solely depends on the doctor intervention okay the major drawback of the ec system was it's not possible to predict as much as as early as possible okay and existing system you are going to collect your data means you have to go to the clinic you have to give your blood result you have to take the chest x ray rate you have to uh, predict your chest x ray pain everything okay that is the major drawback of the existing system in proposed system you have to create a ai tool which can able to scan your eye from that eye images it can able to predict the heart attack risk ratio using rnn algorithm we are using rnn and adaboost as our proposed algorithm here this is the overall architecture of the project 
So yeah, once you are purchasing a project, means we do explain everything clearly. You have to take various data set. From the data set, you have to do pre-processing. From the pre-processing, you have to train using RNN. Then you can give any IE images. The testing process will give whether you are having a disk or not. Okay. The major advantage is what? It's very simple process using high-end AI algorithm, very much accurate rate. Okay. This is the major advantages. System specification was you need minimum 4 GP of RAM. Then you need Anaconda ID for running this project. Okay. So models having various models, models explanation also given here. Then conclusion and the results, references, everything given. So without wasting much time, I'm going to run this project. Running this project, what I'm going to do means I'm going to open the project terminal here. So once I click it, it means it will open the project command prompt. This is my project command prompt. What I have to do means I have to go to the project folder. This is the project folder. You can see the data set. We have collected various data sets here. So various retinal images as a data set. So this is the various retinal images data set. So what I'm going to do means I'm going to use some images for my testing process. So you can use any images, not an issue. Just as I have mentioned, I'm collecting some images for testing. You can use your own eye images from internet. You can check retinal images. You can go and check in our project. Everything works perfectly. Okay. So you no need to worry. Everything will work perfectly. So I'm just collected some images. I'm going to put in the test images folder for my checking purpose. I'm just put in my testing folder. So this is my main code app one dot py. Just I'm copying the project location and paste it on the navigator. Then I'm going to use Python space app one dot py to run the code. Python space app one dot py. So once I enter, it means it will create the results. So I'm going to wait for the result to create. So this was my website address. It's built by the Flash system. Just I'm copying the website. I'm pasting here. So this is my project homepage. Heart attack prediction using retinal images. So abstract also given below. Okay. Then I'm going to use login button here. In login button, I'm going to use admin admin as my user ID and password. Admin admin as my user ID and password. Just give login. Once login successful means you have to upload the retinal images. So just I'm choosing my retinal images for training purpose. Just to choose images, go to the project folder. Just give any test images. You can choose any images from internet, your own eye, not an issue. Okay. Just I'm giving one images here. I'm going to use the cluster. Then I have to use submit. Once submitted means you can train, you can see the training, training ratio. Okay. Overall 10 iteration training should complete. So we have to wait for the training to complete. Okay. So it will train all the images. Okay. So you have to wait for the training to complete. So iteration one going on. So you have to wait for the 10 iteration to complete. So I'm waiting for 10 iteration to complete. So now iteration 9 is running. So we have to wait 10 iteration to complete. So 10 iteration completed means overall training completed. So once overall training completed means it will go for the next page. So this is the next page for the cluster. So this is the clustered results. Okay. Input images, clustered results. Then you can go for the next results. In next tab, this is the testing page. Okay. In testing page, you can give any input image and check. So just I'm using same images as, uh, as my input. So once image loaded means you can check the results. Check results. So see that you are uploaded some images now. So result was the retinal images belongs to 35 to 40 years category. Systolic blood pressure for that images was 120 to 136. Diastolic blood pressure was 75 to 55 then overall BMI ratio for that images was 18 to 25 then uh, H HBA1 ratio HBA1 ratio means the results also giving here so HBA1 ratio means hemoglobin ratio hemoglobin ratio was around 5.2 6.5 the overall image risk factor was 
no risk you are healthy so there is no risk for that imhs it was very clear so see that overall age graphs systolic uh, diastolic blood pressure range then uh, body mass index range hemoglobin range overall heart attack risk everything given here we can check for another images just go to choose images you can choose any different image just check deficiency for that images you can wait and get the results see that so age was 30 to 35 systolic blood pressure was 140 to 160 for that uh, retinal images diastolic blood pressure was 80 to 90 for this images bmi was 27 to 29 so you can check results also here so bmi means go to here 27 to 29 means you can get over weight so as well as hba1 ratio was 4 to 5.6 hba1 ratio was 4 to 5.6 he can get in between range so oras lich factor was 20 percent he can get 20 percentage of heart attack chances we can upload another images also i can upload one more images for testing purpose just upload and check see that so age was 20 to 25 uh, systolic blood pressure range diastolic blood pressure range bmi range so this person no risk of heart attack you can check another images just i'm uploading one more images see that age belongs to 30 to 35 then uh, what's the blood ratio everything given diastolic blood pressure bmi was 27 to 29 h1 ratio risk of heart attack was very low risk 25 20 percent i can upload one more images here i can check deficiency rate so age was 42 45 to 60 for this person bp ratio was 160 for systolic diastolic blood pressure 95 to 100 bmi ratio 32 35 32 35 means you can get the result here so 32 35 means uh, he was obesity so hemoglobin ratio was uh, 13 to 14.9 so you can get results here hemoglobin ratio was 13 to 14.9 means very high chance of heart attack you can see high chances of heart attack nearly 60 percentage so you can check the graphs also for the analysis in analysis you can get the results the different feature cast to the heart attack okay major features depends upon the heart attack major feature was your bmi ratio and systolic blood pressure which is more causing for the heart attack and then overall accuracy for this project given here so overall training accuracy for this project was 97 percent overall testing accuracy for this project was 96 percent using rn which is very much accurate while comparing to the algorithm other algorithm to get this project please contact ieeexpert.com we do provide this project at best price. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do give promo codes for discount on future projects. Thank you.